Hello again and welcome back to our channel. We now have arrived at the Float House Resort on the River Quay, only three hours from Bangkok, but so green, beautiful and peaceful. After a good night's sleep on the river, it's time to explore the area. In this video, we'll show you a few must-visit places when you're coming to Kanchanaburi. Our first stop was a quite deserted place, Wat Trai Ratanaram, a classic temple but with a lot of monkeys guarding it. This railway is part of the Death Railway, built in World War II by prisoners of war. As you can see, the railway is still active and at the Tamkrasai station you have a fantastic view on the bridge and the river. The cave served as a hiding place for local villagers during World War II when the area was under Japanese occupation. Overall, Tamkrasai cave is a beautiful and culturally significant site. Our next appointment with history is Hellfire Pass. You enter the site through the Memorial Museum. Admission to the center is free, but donations are highly appreciated. It's smoggy and misty, <laughs> cloudy. Not much viewpoint today. Yes, it's a nice breeze. This is the Death Railway. All the names, the ticking. Look on the floor. Still impressed? Yes, still impressed. And the world is doing the same thing over and over again. Okay, we test first and now you answer me back. Radio number one, okay, test. We are okay. Enjoy your walk. Thank you. Okay. Hello. You're walking with us? <laughs> <laughs> When you exit the museum at the back, you can take the stairs down to Hellfire Pass. You can choose to walk only to the memorial site, which is about one kilometer, or you can walk the long trail, which is about six kilometers. When you decide to go for the extended walk, they'll give you walkie-talkie so they can check with you every hour. Here is Kanyukati. There ain't nothing that I'd ever miss. Except the life I'm living. I never wanted any other dream than the one I'm dreaming. Traveled over the hills of care. 
Hellfire Pass, also known as Kanyu Cutting, is a section of the Death Railway in Kanchanaburi, Thailand. It is a deep and narrow railway cutting that was dug by Allied prisoners of war and Asian laborers during World War II. The name Hellfire Pass comes from the challenging conditions under which the railway was built. The pass was constructed by prisoners of war from Australia, Britain and other Allied countries who were captured by the Japanese and forced to work on the railway. The work was extremely difficult and dangerous, with the prisoners forced to work long hours in harsh conditions with inadequate food and medical care. Thousands of prisoners died during the construction of Hellfire Pass and it is now a memorial to those who lost their lives. The site features a museum and a walking trail that follows the path of the railway cutting, allowing visitors to learn about the history of the railway and pay their respects to the prisoners who worked and died there. Today, Hellfire Pass is a popular tourist attraction and a sobering reminder of the hardships endured by those who were forced to work on the death railway. It is a must visit for anyone interested in the history of World War II and the impact it had on the lives of those who lived through it. This is the last part of the trail, the hint of cutting. After this walk, you have to return to the center. After a day filled with history, we return to our hotel on the river. After relaxing on our deck, we had an amazing dinner, followed by another good night of sleep. It's still very early, it's 6.15 in the morning, but we are leaving for Erawan. We want to be there at 8 o'clock before all the tourists come with their swimming jackets. And off they go in the dark jungle. Because the hotel longtail boats only start their service on the river at 7 a.m., we left the float house at the back of the resort. Our fantastic driver Pete was already waiting for us to bring us to Erwan Falls. What did you get? Another stamp. Another stamp? Yes, in my book. Oh. The Book of National Park. Yay! We already visited this national park last year but we absolutely wanted to show the beautiful falls to our friends. We came very early at 8 a.m. when it opens to enjoy the beautiful morning lights penetrating the canopy. If you come this early, you still have about one or two hours without the flux of tourists with life jackets who all come to swim in the falls.
just haven't seen love this plain When the ice world earth is going on Just turn your record in and play this song Cause to me our love is like an old fashioned How many steps? Okay, and let's go. You are something sweet. Sip you slow, then repeat. You're the habit I thought I could be. But old fashioned love's got a hold of me. I don't care, I don't think I'd even mind Between holding your hand, what I'm feeling in the bottles of wine Cause you just might be something that could stick Well at least I put my money down on it Cause to me our love is like an old fashioned Honey's whiskey poured out in our glasses You are something sweet Sip you slow then repeat You're the habit I thought I could be The old fashioned love's got a hold of me After visiting the gorgeous Erawan Falls and the Tamlawa Cave, we return to the resort and yes, to have another beautiful dinner. Tomorrow, we leave the float house and drive further north to Sankla, where we will visit the Mon Bridge. So thank you for watching, please don't forget to subscribe, take care and hope to see you in the next one.